But then there's other people that really do like me, you know? Like, for example, I got an email from this girl, Haley, a fan, you know? It's really cool. Like, people reach out, you know, because I'm really, like, vulnerable. I talk about my mental illness, like I was saying earlier, bipolar disorder. So check this out. So she sent me this fan email that I'm gonna check with you guys. This is real. <clears throat> this is the first line. She goes, hi, John. I stumbled upon your work through my abnormal psych class. <laughs> what? <laughs> Crushing it! Helpful. <laughs> and now I basically want to give my professor a giant hug because I am so happy he inadvertently helped me find my favorite comedian. That's you. Wink. Aww. That's like really encouraging and horrifying at the same time. It's a real spectrum of emotions for me. It is beautiful though. She went on to say, really though, thank you. I never thought I'd be able to laugh at mania or psychosis rather than cry or get angry. I hope you read this and find a sense of satisfaction knowing you've made a positive difference in my experience with this fucking annoying as shit disorder. And that's beautiful. That is beautiful, right? It is, it is, it is, it is. You guys, but that being said, <laughs> they're using my stand-up comedy as a pathological case study in an abnormal psych class at a college. I don't know how to place that, and it weirds me out. But more than that, I really want to know what college. So I emailed her back, and I said, Thank you so much for sending me such a beautiful message, Haley, and I'm so happy that my comedy is connected with you. Also, I gotta know, how'd you find out about me from your abnormal psych class? Is there like a professor showing clips of my stand-up or whatevs? Uh, I'd be honored if that were the case, ha ha, right? To which she did not reply. Uh, so, so I let two weeks pass, and I sent another email. Johnny needs to know, Johnny needs to know. Next email. Hey, a lot of whys. Way too many. Why, 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 why? Hey, too many whys. <laughs> I'm just really curious about where my stand up is being shown in a college. It's kind of an exciting thing for me. What class is that? <laughs> so then she gets back to me. She does. And she goes, she goes, Oh, hi, John. I was so excited to hear from you, but I must have let the message get buried in my inbox. Sexual. Um, I <laughs> Uh, yes, my professor incorporated your comedy into a lecture. The course was Psych 405, Abnormal Psychology. Yeah, Psych 405, son. Advanced level, son. Upperclassman type shit, huh? The severity of my mental illness cannot be disgraced by being taught in no Psych 101 prerequisite freshman bullshit. Nah, you gotta teach the, psych the psychosis of John F. O'Donnell to students who have made a decision to declare that as their major. I'd smoke some pot. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, and okay, so it turns out it's a Dr. Paulson out of Old Dominion University, and, uh, and he shows a clip of my stand-up when he teaches his unit on mood disorders. <laughs> So, is that a credit? Can I use that as a credit? Or is that, so, and here's the thing, I don't know like, how he lectures about me, I really don't, but I assume it's kind of like this. I assume he's like, gather around, students. <laughs> gather around, observe comedian John F. O'Donnell, the embodiment of insanity. <laughs> On stage, in his natural environment. Notice how he rants and raves about all the medications he's been- One joke from me in order to try to marginally function in society. See how he desperately clings to his high energy comedic persona, trying to evoke laughter out of strangers, hoping against hope that the laughter is loud enough that it can temporarily silence the madness lurking inside his cursed soul. Rue this sad clown, students. I mean, that's probably how he does it, you know? <laughs>